hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, here we are going to uh, learn how we can integrate Jenkins with PagerDuty so the integration mean to get notification from the Jenkins if build got failed so the pager uh, the Jenkins will send a notification to the pager duty and create the incident into the pager duty so that the on call person will get the notification that the build is got failed and he will be available to work on the build and try to make it success so first of all this is the document to configure uh, pager duty integration with the Jenkins and here all the notes are available so you can just go into Google and try to search how Jenkins and PagerDuty integration work but uh, here I'm making a video to show you how it works actually so what it actually required it required a the pipeline into the Jenkins so let me show you this is my Jenkins server right so this is a UI and here I have a PagerDuty which is live so whenever any build is getting failed it will send a notification to the pager duty so how it works let me show you so before starting uh, to create a pipeline in Jenkins and do the integration first of all you need to have a plugin installed into the Jenkins server so I need to go in manage Jenkins and then you need to go in manage plugins and inside plugins you need to search available and here you need to search for the pager duty so here it is not showing because uh, pager duty plugin is already installed in my server but uh, in your case you need to search it into the available and you need to install it so once you install you will be ready to get integrated it with PagerDuty so again go into dashboard and now start writing a pipeline so that you will get a notification into PagerDuty but uh, before going to start and write the pipeline into Jenkins you need to we have a uh, let me show you the document for the PagerDuty So it is saying like getting started like before you can start with uh, before uh, you can use this plugin you will need an integration key and this integration key is provided by a PagerDuty so uh, this key tells PagerDuty which service the incoming event should be so so when the Jenkins trying to send the notification to PagerDuty then how PagerDuty will get this uh, notification and will uh, try to understand that this is the authorized sender for the pager duty so this is get authorized by integration key so how you will get the integration key so here is the link that uh, you can follow and uh, create the integration key so uh, here it is saying otherwise you can add the integration when creating a new service so what you need to do you need to create a new service inside the pager duty how it is getting created it is all documented here so here you will get like create a service what you need to do you need to so you need to create a service directory name it whatever name you want and uh, inside this service directory you need to create integration this add integration and existing service so here all these steps are given into the integration tab you need to add integration and there you need to select a Jenkins and once you select a Jenkins once you create a uh, service directory and integrate with the Jenkins you will get the integration key and this integration key will be 32 bit character so here here is the all step that you can do into your pager duty and once you create a in uh, once you create a directory inside pager duty and once you get the integration key you will all good 
to start writing your Jenkins pipeline now go and create a new item and say as a pipeline like uh, say it as a my simple pipeline and uh, say ok now what try the description I pipeline now build trigger whatever you but here I am doing a manual build and uh, the, the script so how you will start writing say so like pipeline and then let me copy and paste the code so that we can save the time here it is simply what what we need to do here simply we need to start a script with the pipeline agent will be any and here you need to define a environment variable so if you refer the document here it is some parameter that you need to get configured in order to send and uh, in order to send a notification to the pager duty so you need to have a routine key routing key which is nothing but your integration key here it is it, it is written like service key is replaced with routing key incident key is replaced with the dedup key so routing key is nothing but the integration key so here you need to define this variable routing key and you should put the value over the, so here I define like PD integration key and this key I got this key I got while creating a service directory into the pager duty and uh, once you do uh, integration with pager uh, a Jenkins you will get the integration key right so this is what I this is what I written here but uh, yeah so let me remove this unwanted things from here If I remove all unwanted code from the pipeline, so here I am I am defining some variable like uh, integration key which is provided by pager duty. Now you should have a dedup key. Dedup key is nothing but uh, your key. You you should define this 32 bit, this 32 character uh, key, uh, which is nothing but a uh, referral for the Jenkins and the pager duty it will simply says to the pager duty that uh, this is the key by which Jenkins is creating the incident and once the incident is get resolved the same duplicate key is referred by Jenkins to resolve the incident inside the pager duty so this key is your key. you you should define this key here right once you define this key this this key will be provided by pager duty but this key is defined by you this can this this can be anything right now you need to define a incident summary as per as per this code incident summary whatever summary you want so here i'm so here i'm uh, giving the build like build type let me remove this also so here I am sending the uh, notification detail to the pager duty as a build the job na name whatever the job name like this pipeline name and the build number whatever the number it will generate it will send to the pager duty you will get all details once it will create the uh, incident to the pager duty and uh, incident source will be Jenkins CI this source is sending notification to the pager duty so here I am mentioning it and incident severity so it will be the critical one now the stage will start this is all you can put anything this is I put it here just to you know configure it better now the main part is coming here post so once this all build is completed successfully it will post to the pager duty 
it will post the page uh, 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 the incident to the page to t uh, to resolve the to so l l let ignore this line first so l let's start with failure once so suppose your script is got failed so your script your jenkins will send the information like it it will start creating incident to the page duty and here is the code like page duty and result is equal to false if this script is got failed the value will be result is equal to false now you need to define a routing key this variable you need to refer here which is already defined above incident summary this incident summary we have provided here and here i am putting extra characters like failed for the failure post and incident source this is jenkins ci and uh, incident severity is critical and here one more thing is defined here So I just enter the button and it is coming here. Ddup key you need to define. So Ddup key is your your custom key that you have provided here. So this is for failure. Once the build is got failure, the pager duty uh, Jenkins will send the notification to pager duty that the build is got failed. In case it is aborted, like in case the build is got aborted, it will send the information like uh, the build is got aborted. Uh, if the build is unstable, it will send this message to the pager duty. And once the page uh, Jenkins send it, create an incident into pager duty, and second time you resolve the incident, you you resolve all the codes, and and your build got succeeded it will try to resolve the incident got created into the pager duty and at this time the result should be true got it so the incident is getting created by this and it is get resolved by this now let me run this code here just save it so the build pipeline is ready and now i'm going to build it now so it has got failed let's see what's the error here so uh, something extra character is so let me let me find out what extra uh, closing brace here I guess this one Let me see if okay. Let me let me figure it out and come back. Okay, so I guess re I removed extra closing presses here. Now let me run so once again. Now the build is running. So all stage is running fine I guess and here the build is got success so if the build is success then there is no need to create an incident right so it will not create any incident here now let me fail the build I'm coming here and just trying to make uh, changes so that uh, this build get gets failed now save it and now try to build it once you click build build started its number is 4 and and it is it is got failed now if you go and check the output here it is saying that triggered pager duty with routing key this and uh, incident is got created like fail now come back to the error here it is saying like no such DSL method found now come into the pager duty and uh, just refresh it and here 
it is saying like one triggered instant incident and friends you will see you will see like uh, uh, one incident is got created by Jenkins CI now let me acknowledge it now the the build is got acknowledged now again come into the pipeline and just resolve the error here so what it should do if I run the build it should resolve the incident got created into the page duty this incident should get resolved actually now coming back here save it and build it again the build is running build is succeeded build is succeeded and it should resolve the incident into the page duty if you if you refresh you will see like no incident is yet available so this is how the pj duty uh, sorry the jenkin is creating the incident into the pager duty by sending the notification uh, to the pager duty and uh, and uh, how the things are working here so thank you for watching this video bye bye